I'm going to ask you to look at each grid now more closely. You can work with your table or just with your shoulder partner and come up with an, an accurate fraction to represent what is shaded in the grid and an accurate percentage to show what is shaded in the grid. Okay? 36 sounds good. Because we, if we each do it by 10, then we'll be just counting four extra. And he said about 36, that's a good answer. Count all of the shaded ones. Okay. Yeah. One, two, three. Well, the print is 20. 20? Wait, let me count it. She's getting a different number every time. Two, four, six, eight, ten, Raise your hand if your table has finished all four. All four. And I think all of the groups have finished at least the three. And the fourth one we'll kind of do together. Um, I saw a lot of great strategies to count the percent of each one of those grids. So um, let's see if we can have you share some of these. Grid number one. Um, uh, Ellis, what did you do? I counted on half of it, and then I multiplied it by two. So you counted half. Where did you? I stopped. You know what? Come up here and show In us. Line. Draw the line. Where you? Is this exactly half, though? How do you know, Ruben? They're symmetrical. If you fold them in half, they're going to go right on top of each other without any overlap. OK? What about uh, grid two? So everyone came up with 60 for that, just a few different ways. What about grid two? What did you come up with?